In this video, we will import and visualize 16-bit uh, segmented data set. So here I have got a 16-bit data in its CDF format. But your data could be in, in any of the standard formats. So this is the data. Uh, right now we can't see anything here because most of the data is in this range. So let us change our min and max. So that's that's where our all our data is. So this is showing the space here. So these peaks is basically where all our data is. So let's export that as 16 bit. So by default it is 8 bit uh, when you uh, save the data to pvl.nc file. But let's save this data as 16 bit. So output type now is 16 bit and let's save that data. So save as say um, port 16. So then all the standard options. Now this data is basically showing the pores within uh, a piece of rock, uh, uh, within a rock sample and the pores are segmented individually. So what we will be seeing is are the pores, the segmented pores. So let's drag and drop the the data. So this is what it looks like. So press F2 and you get this here. Now if you look at the the transfer function editor, your transfer function will now look like this. It won't be a 2D, you won't see a 2D histogram what you will see is a 1D histogram only. So it's basically these peaks here. So it's these ones here. So these, in this data set, this is what it looks like. And these are the values in the, in the data. Okay, so what we want now to do is apply random colors to these segmented uh, pores. So in order to do that, press space bar to bring up this command and then use the mix tag. So this is the mix. So use the mix tag and you should get this here. Let's change the transform function to say white and just change the opacity so that we can get nice contrast here. Okay, so what is happening here is in the preferences, it is using these tag colors. I'll just move this out. It is uh, using these tag colors uh, to color the color the data. Uh, your voxel value is used as a pointer into this lookup table and it is used to plot the color here. Now if your data is 16 bit, so which means your voxel values go beyond 255, beyond 255, uh, in that case the it is just uh, basically cycling through all these values. So 256 will basically take the value from uh, the first color and so on. So, so 512 will use the color from two, uh, 512 will use again color 0, 512, 513 will use color number 1 and so on. So this is what we have and then you can also change the color sets. So for example, I'll choose a rainbow color and say 255 
and then you will get this say choose a different color set another color set so these these are just random colors that are generated and the number here is basically the seed for that random number generator and um, if you use uh, number one as the seed then it will um, load the color map from one of your saved color maps and then you can also specify the number of colors to generate and this is what you will get so this is way this is the way in which you can apply um, or view the, your segmented data with say random colors even if it is 16 bit and the same holds for 8 bit data so just use mix tag and you would be able to visualize your segmented data uh, whether it is 8 bit or 16 bit and you'd be able to um, use the random colors for say for example showing the uh, the pores or the green data especially for rocks uh, this is this is pretty useful